Hello, we have some very exciting news. Our family of doctors at the Venkat Center is growing and our newest addition is Dr. Mihir Shankar. He is an excellent plastic surgeon who has joined our team, who is going to be doing hair transplants and all other plastic surgeries. And he has passed out from St. John's, which is my medical college. And after that, he has done a fellowship in Hyderabad. And now he's going to tell you a little bit about himself. Hello, everyone. So uh, this is Dr. Mihir. Uh, I've joined uh, Venkat Center since the past seven months. So I've trained in hair transplant uh, for the first uh, four months and then uh, I've joined as a consultant. So uh, it's been uh, a wonderful journey over here. Uh, I've learned a lot of surgical skills, uh, patient care, and uh, I'm looking forward to bringing this into my practice uh, and for my patients as well. So uh, looking forward to a great future ahead. So as we grow in Venkat Center, we are taking care of more and more patients and that's why we are excited to have Mihir join us to maintain the standard of care that we want to give all our patients. At the Venkat Center, our motto is expertise, experience, ethics. We want each patient to have the best process throughout their aesthetic journey with us. And I'm sure Dr. Mihir will help us do that. Hello everyone, so this is Dr. Mihir here. Uh, I've joined uh, Venkat Center since the past seven months, so I've trained in hair transplant and then I've joined as a consultant here. So Venkat Center has um, uh, taught not just surgical skills to me, but comprehensive patient care, attention to detail and also research. So what Venkat Center has given me is an opportunity to grow. It has given me a lot of freedom to take my own decisions for patients. Uh, it is a center of academic excellence. So they've allowed me to uh, present in a lot of webinars so uh, I'm really looking forward to a great future ahead. Hello everyone, so uh, this is Dr. Meher here again. Uh, I wanted to discuss and share about uh, what a sebaceous cyst is. So what's a sebaceous cyst? Well, a cyst is any swelling or a fluid filled cavity. All right, so a sebaceous cyst per se has uh, a lot of sebum or oily substance that gets secreted from within our skin uh, which comes on to the surface. So what happens in a sebaceous cyst is uh, these glands that I was talking about get blocked and that forms the swelling at the skin surface. So where do, do these sebaceous cysts occur? Well, they occur mainly on the face, the scalp, ears and the neck. It also occurs where there are a lot of hair bearing areas in the body. So what are the symptoms of sebaceous cysts? So they can remain as swellings for a long period of time. But what uh, is concerning is it could get infected. So if it does get infected, it's going to hurt a lot it, and uh, what would seem a very simple surgery would become a little more complicated. So can sebaceous cysts be cancerous? No, this is not a cancer. This cannot even transform into a cancerous growth. So why do sebaceous cysts need treatment? Well, these sebaceous cysts can grow in size as well as they can get infected. So the ideal treatment for sebaceous cysts are surgical excision. So who does these surgical excisions? Well, it's important you get this done by a plastic surgeon because a plastic surgeon will not only be able to remove the swelling completely, uh, he would also be able to give you a very fine scar. Now, how does that happen? We use very fine suture materials as fine as a human hair, as well as we do what is known as layered suturing. So that is what is going to give you a very fine scar. So when would you want to get this cyst excised? Well, the moment you notice it, it would be pretty small. So that is the ideal time to get it excised than waiting for it to get larger. That means a larger scar and hence a longer recovery. So here at Venkat Center, we offer you all types of uh, treatments for cysts, sebaceous cysts and any other kind of cysts. Please do like and subscribe.
Thank you so much.